Hello everyone, it's Queen V Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the recent update surrounding the unfortunate unaliving of Chris Nick Curry Ball, known as Take Off, one third of the Grammy Award winning group, the Migos, whose life was unfortunately taken last month. It has been confirmed by numerous outlets and the Houston Police Department that they have arrested and charged persons connected with this unfortunate event. Their names are Patrick Xavier Clark, 33, for the alleged unaliving of Mr. Ball and Cameron Joshua for having an unlawful weapon during the unaliving of Krisnik Kari Ball known as Takeoff. Patrick Xavier Clark's bond was set at $2 million during a court appearance late Friday night after the judge determined he posed a flight risk if he is able to post bond. He will be held under 24-hour house arrest, the judge said. In requesting the $2 million bond, prosecutors argued that Clark posed a high flight risk because he had purchased tickets to Mexico two days prior to his arrest and applied for an expedited passport. The defense argued that Clark, who is currently enrolled in college, posed a low risk to the community and this was his first criminal arrest. This comes one month after Krisnik Kari Ball, known as Takeoff's life, was taken outside of a private party. Two other persons were also injured but suffered non-life-threatening injuries during the incident. Investigators claim there was an argument between guests which led to multiple weapons being pointed. It has been confirmed that Krisnik Kari Ball, known as Takeoff, was not involved in playing the dice game. Again, investigators have confirmed that Takeoff was not involved in playing in the dice game and he was not involved in the argument that occurred outside. And he was not armed. Again, Takeoff was not playing in the dice game, he was not involved in the argument that occurred outside, and he was not armed. He was just an innocent bystander. Now you will watch these brief news clips from Houston PD, and I will be back with more commentary. I spoke to uh, Takeoff's mother early this morning, and um, my prayers, and I ask that all our prayers continue to go out to her and his entire family, his close friends, the uh, city of Atlanta, and all of Takeoff's fans uh, around the world. We lost a good man, and I didn't have the pleasure of meeting him, but everybody, the hundreds of people that I, I talked to uh, spoke on what a great individual he was. Um, we have a special relationship with the city of Atlanta. I want to make sure that stays intact. I want to thank them, the family, and everybody else for patience, allowing us to work uh, through the evidence 
and the facts, which is most important. Um, I also want to thank our investigators um, here today, uh, Sergeant Michael Barrow, um, Lieutenant uh, Barnes, Investigator Ross Watson, and also from the DA's office, um, Ruben Perez and Matt Gilliam, uh, who's worked very hard on this case. Uh, all of our individuals, um, our, our divisions, our homicide division, thank you. Um, people don't know the hard work that they do behind the scenes, the number of our hours that they're away from their family members. So um, also the gang division, our federal partners, FBI, um, state partner, DPS, and ATF. Everybody took a role um, in this investigation. We stood here um, a little bit, I think a month ago, maybe a day or two, and made a promise that we would get the individuals or the individual that's responsible uh, for the murder of takeoff in custody. So yesterday evening, we arrested Patrick Xavier Brown, 33 years old. He was charged with the murder of takeoff. Brown was arrested again yesterday evening in the 14700 block of Sterling Green uh, Boulevard. It's located on the east side of, of Texas. I'm sorry, of, of Houston. Uh, again, Joshua, Cameron Joshua, 22 years old, was arrested on November the 22nd for felon in possession oh, of a weapon. notes, um, it's a Patrick Xavier Clark, 33 years old, uh, on the rest of the suspect. Okay. Just, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about uh, the investigation. The investigation is still ongoing. We still have a lot of people that we're trying to locate and talk to, so we will be a little bit short on details here. We probably will not be able to answer all of your questions. But I can tell you, uh, to confirm some of the speculations out there, the event was a private party. Um, there was a lucrative dice game that went on at the event. There was an argument that happened afterwards outside the bowling alley, which led to the shooting. I can tell you that Takeoff was not involved in playing in the dice game. He was not involved in the argument that happened outside. He was not armed. He was an innocent bystander. This confirms everything that we know of the late Krisnik Kari Ball, known to the world as Takeoff. He was literally minding his business when this unfortunate event occurred. Him and others were unfortunately injured, but his life was unfortunately taken. This is unfortunate that persons cannot handle a loss, so they resort to violence in which persons get injured and persons are unalive. If you cannot handle a quote-unquote dice game or any type of game and you cannot handle losing, it's best that you stop playing games, period. Because now the survivors of this shooting Lives are forever changed. The witnesses who saw this unfortunate incident, lives are forever changed because they witnessed someone losing their lives and others being injured because persons do not have a calm head. Cooler heads always prevail in the moment of conflict and the fact that takeoff's life was taken because persons could not understand that it's just a game is tragic. I truly believe that when more witnesses have the courage to come forward, we will have a picture of what occurred that night. While these new developments cannot bring back Krisnik Kari Ball, at least 
the family has some form of peace knowing that the person that took this young man's life is in prison. And I want us to understand that if there are more persons connected to this unfortunate event, do not be surprised. Again, condolences to the family. Say their names, known and unknown. Justice for Chrisnik, Kari Ball. Fly high, take off. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.